After weeks of allegations of disgusting behavior from an Echo Fox shareholder, enough is enough. Hate has no place in esports. So, let's start from the beginning. Last month, Dexero's Richard Lewis reported that Rick Fox was trying to leave the esports team he founded, Echo Fox, due to alleged racist behavior and threats made against his family by another then unnamed shareholder. Dexero's reporting continued over the following days, revealing that the shareholder in question was a man named Amit Raizada. Now, Raizada released a statement in which he admitted to lobbing racial epithets at former Echo Fox CEO Jace Hall, but he also said that he never threatened Rick Fox's family. If the emails that Dexero published are real, then the things that Raizada said to Jace Hall are pretty terrible. But then, Dexerto published emails allegedly sent by Raizada in which he clearly threatens Rick Fox's family. So that was a fucking lie. Now it actually gets worse from here. A new site called Upcomer published texts in which Raizada allegedly sent anti-Semitic insults to a former business partner. Rick Fox responded by telling TMZ that he's willing to stay with Echo Fox if the organization removes Raizada. Though he also said that, unfortunately, it's not as easy as it sounds. He has rights as well, you know. Being, right. uh, the unfortunate thing is being a racist in, in, in America or being a racist in general is not illegal, unfortunately. Right. Right. Um, and so he has his own economic interests and his own rights. So no, one, no one's gonna trample on his rights, but I have my rights as well. Now that brings us to today, where literally as we're recording this, Riot has made a statement about the whole Echo Fox situation. Riot says that the LCS has concluded its preliminary investigation into the alleged comments made by a member of the Echo Fox ownership group. Hate speech, threats, and bigotry have no place in the LCS. We have directed Echo Fox to take appropriate corrective action within 60 days. If Echo Fox does not take action by removing any individuals whose actions violate league rules and agreements within the required time period, the league will take formal action that may adversely impact the future of Echo Fox in the LCS. In English, Echo Fox needs to get rid of Rizada or Riot will take action against them. Oh, now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. Now you fucked up! You have fucked up now! Okay, now that we have all the facts of this issue lined up, we all can relate to this, at least on some small level, because when we play any game, whether it's League of Legends or CS or anything, there is always some kind of toxic behavior in chat. And that's kind of what's happening to Rick here. The difference is that when someone is toxic in a game, you have a lot of ways of dealing with them. You can mute them, you can dodge, you can just shut down your client, stop playing for 20 minutes and come back. The problem is that Rick Fox doesn't have any of those options. He is stuck in a business relationship with an allegedly toxic person. Now, if somebody in your ranked games was saying the kind of stuff that Rizada allegedly said, Riot would ban them, which is actually what they're trying to do. Now, what can Riot do in this situation? They don't really state exactly what their formal action will be, but I can take a couple guesses. I don't know what Riot can or can't do, but I'm willing to assume that Riot can't just kick a team out of the LCS given their franchising agreements. Instead, I assume that Riot can probably sanction them somehow, maybe make trades harder, find them, remove their bans before every pro game, something like that. Things that'll make it more difficult for Echo Fox to succeed and thus gain sponsors. So that puts us in a situation where there are three potential futures. The first is that things continue as they are right now. Echo Fox doesn't do anything within 60 days and Riot is forced to take action. Now, nobody wins in this situation. Riot doesn't win because they don't want to take action against one of their teams. It just, it looks bad for the league, it's bad for their branding, it's just, it's not healthy for the LCS. Echo Fox doesn't win because whatever actions Riot takes against them will make it more difficult for them to win and be a profitable company. Esports as a whole doesn't win because one, we lose Rick Fox, who's been a great face for esports. They are digital athletes, they're professional digital athletes. And two, we're left with somebody who's allegedly said some pretty terrible stuff. The second possible future is a pretty good one. In this future, Rizada steps down, Echo Fox is in the LCS without any actions taken against him, and Rick Fox stays on with the team. Basically, everybody wins here, but Rizada, who again, is allegedly a jerk, so I don't really mind that one. Bye, Felicia. The third potential future here is a little bit speculative, but stick with me. In this potential future, the Echo Fox shareholders, including Rizada, sell Echo Fox off before the 60-day deadline. Now, this would be difficult, but it would put us in an interesting situation. It would be a win for Riot because that individual who violated league rules would be out of the system. It would be a win for esports because hate has no place in esports and getting rid of the alleged source of that hate can only be a good thing. The problem is that it's also a win for Rizada, who's gonna walk away from this whole thing with a chunk of change. Now, he wouldn't be in esports anymore, so I guess he's not our problem. Now that Riot has spoken up, it's clear to see that they don't want hate in esports. And based on the response I've seen on social media, Twitter, and Reddit, 
you guys don't want hate in esports either. I haven't had many personal interactions with Rick Fox. He's always been really cordial to me and is a great interview, but it doesn't matter who this kind of behavior is directed towards. Any kind of racist behavior in esports shouldn't stand. Rick Fox has been really good for esports over the last couple of years. He was one of the first big names to come in with outside money and invest in esports. He shows up to all his games. He's just a really incredible face for esports and losing him for any reason sucks. Fellow team owners have spoken up in support. Fans don't want to see Rick Fox leave. And that's the kind of thing that gives me hope for esports, that we won't stand for racist behavior in our scene. I don't know if it's proven or not, but if that's true, like, Fuck that person. There isn't any place in esports for racism or anti-Semitism or threats against people's family. There isn't any place in it for any kind of terrible behavior at all. So what can we do? Well, honestly, I think we should do what I've already seen people do on social media. People on Twitter and Reddit have already been speaking up against behavior like this and in defense of Rick Fox. So now it's up to the Echo Fox shareholders and hopefully we can convince them that hate has no place in esports or at the very least that the alleged source of this hate will finally step down. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.